And welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And I thought today we'd talk about e-bikes and uh, and power uh, and, and battery upping the uh, voltage on bikes and the size of the batteries and that's what we're seeing these days um, an increase like we're seeing it used to be where bikes were the the common bike size was 48 volts or or the, you had the 36 even but 48 is becoming like a dinosaur almost you know like this there's, there's not as many they're at the lower end now uh more of the budget price bikes but once you get up a little bit into the say fifteen hundred two thousand dollar uh area or above that you're going to get into the 52 volt which the aerial rider grizzly that i'm riding right now is also uh there's 60 and starting to see some 72s I haven't had a 60 yet volt. Uh, I have one coming, the Aerial or the uh, Lyric Graffiti X, which is a 60 volt. But I like the way it's trending because a little more oomph is always good especially if you have hills in your area it's nice to have that little bit of extra power and the battery size when I bought my first electric bike it was a 48 volt 14 amp hour uh, that's the battery and the voltage that I got. Man, they got to put an end to this. One of my big pet peeves right here. Trash cans right in the bike lane. And we got to wait for the cars to go by here. I don't like it. Ah. So yeah, since the uh, since the forty eight fourteen, now a typical is the batteries are at least twenty. You might still see forty eight, but now you're starting to see more fifty two though at 60 and if you get up into the little more higher end bikes you're going to get 30 or above amp hour and the uh, graffiti x that i have coming for example it's a 60 volt and it's a uh, 40 amp hour really nice
bike certainly has a little get up and go. If you have a dual motor uh, bike, you gotta always be careful of having the dual motors on on takeoff because it could uh, you may be surprised that you have it on and not think you know and then all of a sudden uh, hit the throttle and maybe uh, have an accident happening you don't want that I like the idea of a little more voltage. Someday I need to, uh, to try the uh, 72 volt. I know I'm going to like it. Oh, I had the front motor on, but we're good. And with the Grizzly and the dual motors, hills are no problem. Yeah, I still think the dual motors are good if you have a need for a need for that. can't go wrong with the extra power like I say the extra voltage up to 52 or more even if you don't want to ride fast or anything it's still nice to have that extra voltage I think it makes everything more efficient nothing is working as hard you know oh, now I'm on this bike and I, won't, I don't want to get off Let me just tell you that danger, e-bikes, beware. E-bikes are addicting. Once you get into it, it's going to be hard to get out. Unless it's just me, but I think it is a... Uh, a community kind of deal that we get into like a cult and uh, you can't get out of it but they're a lot of fun if you don't yet have an e-bike get yourself an e-bike or try one out and see if you like it guaranteed you're gonna love it
Yeah, if you have a chance to get the higher voltage bike, get the higher voltage. Whatever your budget allows, go for the best. And that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to support us and subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.